Andy, congratulations. A terrific performance, terrific win. What's the mood in the dressing room tonight? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's what we aimed for, you know what I mean? We needed the three points and uh, we got them up off. We worked really hard all night and uh, we definitely deserved it. Uh, if not by even more, we had a few more chances, you know what I mean? So the main point um, was to get three points and we did, so everyone's happy. Yeah. You finished the first half with a flourish but couldn't quite make the breakthrough. What was the message from the gaffer at half time? Just like patience, um, you know, you want to just keep going, don't change anything, just keep on going the way you're going, you know what I mean, we're going to get one. And um, we did, just kept patient and then in the end obviously uh, Paddy put one away and we had a few more chances, just like I said before, but um, yeah, three points is the main thing and we got them so everyone's happy. A few nervy moments at the end, particularly when they struck the crossbar. Did they hit the was I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Did they? Yeah. All right, yeah. You were well, on the bench uh, by then, aren't you? Is it? Yeah, well, I didn't see that, but yeah. Um, yeah, glad I didn't see it, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, well, yeah, like you said, when you obviously when we're open to be 2 3, you know what I mean? Like a bit more comfortable when it's 1, and then, yeah. uh, like you said, if they hit the crossbar, yeah, I wouldn't have been happy. You know what I mean? Like I would have been a bit uh, thingy, but yeah, like I said, we've got the job done, and uh, everyone's happy in there, so yeah. What does it mean? to you as a, as a lad who came through the ranks here at Stockport County, obviously you were forced to leave because the academy closed, I mean, uh, you wonder what's going to happen at, at that stage, so to come back at this stage in your career must be fantastic. Yeah, um, like I said, um, I just went into administration um, when I was 16, just turned yeah. 16, so <clears throat> it was sad to obviously see the club, you know, which I was at from a young age, you know, go into that. and. Um, Obviously now when you see the atmosphere here and everything, it was like when I was about 13, I used to watch them when they were back in League One. And uh, the atmosphere, you know, it's just exactly the same as what it was back then. So it's good, good to see all like the, the fans and that back, you know, enjoying it. And hopefully um, come Sunday, we can put a bigger smile on the faces. What about the decision for you to come back here at this stage? Because obviously you're playing championship football, I think 10 appearances in the championship this season with, with Hull City. Is it a big decision for you to, to drop down so many levels? Um, it's, a, it's a tough one. Um, like I said, I wasn't guaranteed to play um, a lot in, in the championship. And um, as people know, the January transfer window shuts, and um, you can go to the national league. And I thought, in the position that uh, Stockport was in, uh, local, you know what I mean, um, close to me, and obviously the, the club had a special place in my heart anyway. I thought if I can come here, you know, play some games and hopefully the achievement to obviously go on and get promoted, if I can be part of it, you know, then it's a job done and uh, everyone's happy and I'm really happy as well that um, hopefully the club um, comes under back in uh, the Football League. You mentioned the fans already. What does it mean to you as a local lad to get that ovation when you came off in the second half today? Yeah, class, you know, um, I don't know. It's just, it seems a bit weird, you know, because obviously I was there as a kid and then everything is all just a bit, uh, just feels a bit, I don't know the word, but it feels great, you know what I mean? I'm glad to be back and hopefully uh, come Sunday we can uh, just push it and, um, like I said, get everyone just smiling and everyone happy and uh, that would be me happy as well. So. As you say, Sunday, still a, uh, the job, job isn't done yet, you still need a, a point to guarantee the title. Do you play for a draw on Sunday? Is that how you approach the game against Halifax? It's going to be a tough one. I'm not the manager. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, whatever the manager sets out to do, you know, um, we'll listen to him and obviously try and do everything we can to do what the gap, the manager says. What have you made of him? Because you know, the last few weeks it's been a, there has been a, a few wobbles, hasn't it? Before tonight, I think four defeats in the last six. Yeah. So to get back on track tonight was terrific. What have you made of of Dave Challenge though and his approach? Yeah, definitely um, the way he works and everything. Um, I think everything he says is spot on and um, just I really enjoy him, you know, uh, everything that he does and as he is a, as a person, you know, I think he's re really clued up and um, he's a great manager, so yeah, everything's spot on from my point of view. Awesome. Let's hope you celebrate on Sunday. Well done tonight. Yeah. Thank you very Cheers. much. Thanks, Andy. Andy.